This has been the most inspiring summer of my 30 years, and as we enter the final month of the season, I'm determined to soak up as much summer magic as I can. In the past few weeks, I have felt a shift within myself, a sudden determination, as if the summer fairies opened a portal just for me, a space brimming with life and energy, rekindling my love for the old ways of living, calling me to explore lore, magic, and medicine. One of these old ways that I connected with this summer is known as weird, or a Norse concept for fate. Weird implies that when we are given our birth names, a line of fate is spun out, forming our inevitable path through life. My name is Kelly. It comes from an old Gallic word that means war, bright-headed, or perhaps more succinctly, bright warrior. This name might make me seem braver than I really am, or perhaps it rings true. We all have that element of huntress, warrior, wild woman echoed within the deep base of a thunderstorm, honed into mountain stone, ephemeral like an eastern wind, as deeply resonant as the gaze of a startled fawn. I can't foresee how the threads of my life will be woven together, but today I am choosing my fate.
A big theme of this week's video was bravery. Not only does Mullen represent courage and bravery, but the idea of going on a hike to find Mullen, even in the heat, on a beautiful cloudy day, something about the way Mullen grows from the most unlikely places. I found some Mullen growing from beneath a crevice in a rock face covered in cobwebs, but it was still thriving. And I think finding Mullen in such a, a barren, seemingly barren place uh, has a lot to do with, with courage and growing despite difficulties, despite a harsh environment, Mullen is still able to thrive. And coincidentally, tying that in with the etymology of my name, a couple of years ago, if I'd searched the etymology of my name and seen something like Bright Warrior, I would have laughed. Uh, I never felt brave or strong or smart. But in recent years, as I grow into the woman I'm meant to be, I just turned 30, so that's a, that's a big year. In recent years, I've evolved into this brave woman, and I still have so, so much to do and so far to go. But it felt right to share that this week, choosing my fate, choosing to be brave and bright, choosing to be a warrior in a sense. And like I said, it's true, we all have an element of that, that wilderness within us and that strength. And it's about claiming that. I think in a society that celebrates productivity and doing things the normal way, being an introvert, living this sort of quiet, humble existence, I think is confusing to people and it can feel overwhelmingly lonely at times. So now that I know this is the path I'm choosing, finding a way to share that and thrive with that lifestyle. That takes bravery, I think. It would be very easy to concede and conform and do the same things everyone else is doing, just to make life easier, you know? But that isn't me. So I'm curious about your etymology. Look up your name and you'll be surprised at how accurate it is. There's so much psychology behind names as well as spiritual meanings. Somehow we evolved to, to suit our name, so yes, I am curious. Feel free to leave in the comments your name and the etymology behind it, and if it rings true to you. By the time this video comes out to you, it will be almost September, so I think it's safe to go ahead and announce some exciting news. If you follow me on my Instagram, you will know already, but I have finally decided to make a Patreon. Now that I have a good posting schedule here on YouTube, I'm still going to be making free bi-weekly videos, but my problem in the past with YouTube and sustainability is I do everything for free, so in this way Patreon can hopefully bolster this um, creative freelance side of my, my work and my life. And not, o not only that, but um, I have so many bonus things that I'm always doing that I'm trying to find a way to share, whether it be maybe I'm reading a book that I'm excited about and I'd like to share a review with you guys or uh, some of my herbal drawings that I've been getting into, and even some of my past work, finding a way to share that with you all and just making it a more immersive and well-rounded experience online. I've already been working on the Patreon and filling out the platform, polling you guys to see what you'd like to see, but I'm thinking beginning of September, that's when I want to start my tiers and get a paid membership going, just for anybody that wants more exclusive content from me. I'm still getting used to thinking of myself as a content creator because at the end of the day, like everybody, I'm just a human being who goes and buys pancake mix at the grocery store and puts on my pants, or in this case, a jersey dress. And there certainly is an element of imposter syndrome, especially as I delve into this online career that I'm trying to pursue. Um, so I'm just taking that day by day and just kind of working through that because I do think what I have to share is important and I share what I would like to see and what I enjoy watching from other creators and at there's no single point where I watch it and I, and I think, man, this person's a weirdo or a phony. I'm just so immersed and happy at um, connecting with these people online and I think, you know, why can't I do the same? 
And really it's all thanks to you guys that I feel encouraged because you're the ones that are watching my videos and commenting. Again, this is just a tiny slice of my life in which I'm turning the mundane into the magical, or I should say, uh, forming a bridge between the two. And it's just really inspiring that so many people like that sort of thing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I do this stuff because it's a way for me to express this side of myself that is very introverted and can be quite misunderstood by society in general. And it's just really healing and a wonderful way to connect. I just feel really excited about taking this next step and just having faith in my work and knowing that I am worthy of succeeding and I'm worthy of living a sustainable life with my creativity. I think that's it for this wrap up. Thank you for sticking around and yeah, thank you for coming with me on this uh, herbal adventure. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited and hopeful for the future and I haven't been able to say that in a long time. So you guys are helping to make that possible. And again, this is about community. Everybody is welcome here. And if you have any questions for me, or if you just liked this video, let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe if you're just popping in. Your support means the world to me and yeah, thank you so much. Today is Monday, we're just starting the week off. So wherever you are, I hope you have a lovely week and I will talk to you very soon. Goodbye. Ticks in my hair, bugs on my arms, bugs in my eyes, mullen leaves stuffed in my pants. Nature girl, nature girl.